Hello everyone, today is 12th July 2021. I thought of showing you the garden, whatever it is. I am standing in the front of the house. Here is the peony. Blooms are gone. Uh, I didn't cut the head of the dried bloom, thinking that I will wait for the head to make some seeds. Because sometimes the seeds, um, they take two years uh, to bloom, but they germinate and they can also give you some plants thinking that i did not cut the head and um, here is this is red red daylily bloomed one yesterday three flowers bloomed today one this is uh, asiatic lily this is the hollyhock past two weeks the blooms were very beautiful now the days are going just I am waiting for them to dry the seeds so that I can save uh, for next year. This is the red uh, landscape rose. It bloomed a lot and I caught all the dried uh, flower head. Here this is I made a new border of uh, plants. Uh, that is a um, rose. I think it died when there was no water at all and few days we are absent and so this is a coleus few cosmos here and there i have planted this is another variety of rose like uh, this line all the plants are new um, so at least it may take three years to look good enough uh, to so all of you but still i just wanted to share with you this is a new plant that i have planted this year so every year they will grow bigger and bigger and they will be a much bigger bush so now this is the status. I didn't expect them to bloom this year, but they are blooming. And uh, some coleus, some um, cleomy, cosmos, coleus, uh, cosmos. This is one uh, sedum. This is one sedum. Then this is, um, I don't remember the name, but it feels very soft like a... It's not coming to my mouth. Velvet kind of velvet feeling it gives it's very good when you touch it feels very soft when you touch that is another rose those are few hollyhock uh, this is the sastra daisy i planted this year i mean just this is only within these two months so uh, the hollyhock i showed you which bloomed a lot they were like that last year so they are kind of biannual they bloom in the second year so all the hollyhock bloom that i said they were like this last year only this year they bloomed a lot so this is one uh, knockout rose i think pink drift its name that is the white um, lilac and this is um, dark leaf uh, canna i planted late so i'm not sure whether it will bloom or not and again this is annual in our area it won't survive the winter so in the month of October, I have to remove it. Blooms are not, but I have to remove from the ground. And then here and there, uh, where I had a lot of uh, cosmos seedlings. So I just planted here and there. Uh, this is a holy vessel. It was very tiny when I planted. So suddenly this month it grew, grew rapidly. And that is one arbori vita. Just to look green, I planted. And this is one rabbit. One rabbit uh, is visible in this month. In our garden so i believe that is the result of the rabbit's action and this is the mint so in the month of july mid july you can say see the status then i'll take you this hosta garden i came close to the hosta garden the rectangular garden so they are in full bloom you can see this so the leaves are also not looking very good because of sun and some insect bite that's why i let the bloom to be there otherwise generally i used to cut the blooms just so then only the leaves uh, looks beautiful but uh, i thought okay let uh, the um, let the bloom make some seeds uh, thinking like that i left it and i didn't cut it and here is the uh, dahlia i have few dahlias i worked so hard behind these dahlias and they are blooming in the pot itself and I could not replace in the ground. 
that is one uh, chrysanthemum. So I see the leaves that makes me happy because the way the growth was so bad and uh, slow, I thought it will die. And this is the Asiatic lily last year I planted. That is the PJM rhododendron. Here the purple azalea. This is the clematis. It bloomed once already. And this is the um, the pink color um, hydrangea, dehydrangea. That I I had um, said the story I borrowed from my previous neighborhood as a memory. So now there are a lot of birds. So maybe next month they will be uh, in peak of their bloom. So see the other hosta how they are. See this is I think Big Daddy maybe its name and see this huge uh, weeping cherry this is the fourth year then this is another hosta another um, Asiatic lily then this is the um, sweet summer hydrangea panicle hydrangea so they are see the boards they are starting to open their petals in the center already to open so maybe it may take another two weeks to completely open all the flower head this is sweet summer panicle hydrangea panicle hydrangea means they uh, the shape of the flowers are kind of cone shape kind of cone shape if you can see these um, sorry so if you see this like pyramidal pyramidal structure you can say I can so you, one which is opened see then uh, this is new this is new i planted in october this is invincible limata so this is not going to be too tall like the other hydrangea it will be round round and it will be in smaller height then this is um, i like this color combination this is one day lily uh, last year yeah last year i planted i like the color it's like not yellow it is orange the borders are orange and center is maroon then i came back side of this weeping cherry so i have a lot of uh, mulch bags just i did not get time to pour on in this area or wh whoever i called they didn't show up they are all busy so in this season people are so busy hardly they are available and they listen to you so this is the um, that's why they are like that otherwise i have enough mulch bags um, to cover these uh, and the mulch are needed every year every year they need because the surface my my land is not flat if it is flat maybe the mulch will stay in one place but because they are kind of slope they always uh, move here and there and they don't stay where we drop the mulch anyway so um, this is the status of uh, the hosta. This is the um, peony. The peony head. I thought it will make some seed, but I don't see any seed. So I just need to cut. I couldn't reach while trimming. Always I trimmed first uh, the roses and uh, some other plants, and uh, I didn't do it. I have to do it. This is a yellow um, uh, day lily. I think it is five years maybe the first two years it didn't bloom third year only one bloom in the fourth last fourth fourth year was last year I think uh, it bloomed few and this year and I like this um, this color and the height whatever the height it is from a distance uh, from a distance also like um, they pop up they are bloom so I like this height uh, this is my experience I have tried many variety of lily um and uh, this height is very good so that from a distance also their flowers you can enjoy and they are visible so initially the first two years i was so sad that there is no bloom and um, maybe it will die but now i feel the roots are strong and 
they are blooming the way I expected. So, and the color, I'm color and height, I'm happy with. This is the um, same uh, poster that is there, the second one. In the video, they are visible or not, but practically they look very beautiful. Their foliage, their leaves, they look very, very beautiful. Then this is the uh, second white hibiscus. I think thousand of birds are there. So at least three months they will keep on blooming. That's what they do. Particularly this one I bought from Home Depot. And uh, they, they this variety perform very well. Each year they bloom a lot, a lot. And they grew very fast. And uh, this is the status of the grape I already showed you. And now Japanese beetles are in the garden. So they make the um, rose look very bad. So... But I came here to show you that um, this uh, limelight hydrangea I planted last year. For a long time I wanted uh, one in my garden and somehow last year only I found in my nearby Home Depot uh, store. And uh, if you can see the blooms, see. So they, they say it grows six feet but uh, people who have uh, the limelight hydrangea in their garden they always say they grow up to eight feet uh, and uh, they are very good in growing and everything so last year also when i bought the initial branches they were like kind of one third of it so whatever you are seeing now so the original branches were kind of one third height of the current branches and uh, somehow they dried and I trimmed them and again in winter they were damaged so I have to cut all the top damaged parts so roughly I can say 10% of the original branches were there what I mean is very tiny shrub you can say when I started and then from there the new new shoots the new new branches showed up and uh, now it makes me very happy that they are very big and um, this is their first year so i'm not expecting they will reach to six feet or eight feet but the way they are growing i think maybe next year or after two three years they will reach to six eight feet so but anyway they have lots of birds and uh, i can say are you shown all the birds once they are opened and uh, this is the um, check mark trilogy wisella it bloomed a lot they are my first um, invincible limeta and uh, that is the purple uh, it will bloom red color um, crepe myrtle and the daffodils all those branches you can see they are laid down and they are brown they are all daffodils so here and there i showed some cosmos not cosmot i did not uh, showed cosmos because last year there are some plants and uh, they self seed themselves so no need to plant cosmos the orange color i mean so I sowed few genia seeds here and there and sunflower seed here and there but somehow the soil is clay and not very good soil and I was in hurry I did not add compost while putting the um, sunflower seed that's why they don't look very healthy but wherever they have good soil they are growing very well so and these are all my leftover um, uh, leftover uh, iris uh, purple and white or blue and white whatever you can say uh, that color uh, iris so when I was uh, transplanting there uh, to make a circle my original uh, iris was there and they, they multiplied a lot in the past six years the first six years I am saying so I transplanted last year some and last to last year some there so whatever left and i did not expect that they will survive those i planted in my far away triangle garden and here some so here behind those um, uh, daffodils here three three bulbs or rhizomes i mean the iris three rhizomes they are three they are three and they are three so they they, they so on the first year i saw only one or two leaves in each of them and then this is the second year so they look healthier and they bloomed also that means now they are settled in the ground so next year they will they will be blooming a lot i believe that's how that is my experience with iris and that is the 
knockout rose so i showed you this um, limelight hydrangea so behind limelight hydrangea that is the mango salsa landscape rose they bloomed a lot i had shared a lot of pictures now i trimmed them all the dead um, all the dead bloom so that uh, they can uh, accelerate the new branches to come out faster and here i have that one uh, white um, exact variety name i don't remember but white color that is white color peony uh, i have planted so maybe next year they will uh, bloom here some um, clear me see here the i ha i had given lot of compost for the peony to grow so because because of that those uh, clear me looks beautiful and some zinnia and uh, then and uh, that is holly hop then this one so this one is lava lamp candelabra hydrangea so um, the difference between this hydrangea and that hydrangea is that will be cream color all through the season this may be cream color all through the season but at the end i think during fall it will turn into pink and also lava lamp uh, they say maybe because of the color um, but this is uh, i planted it here close to that because the head though they are conical shape this is little bit like lace kind of structure for example the limelight they are filled with only this kind of bloom but this one they have the, the these these will be in the center this will be the center and around that these uh, these kind of bloom will be there you can see here see the dot dot in the center and then they are in the round so it will be little different so i thought it will give a little contrast to that plant thinking that i planted this i bought two of sorry no exactly one of this and then i bought two two moon rock hydrangea they also look like that but maybe little fuller and the tip of the co conical shape flower is lighter green that's what i felt but when they will be in peak of their bloom i can show you all so that you can compare but anyway um, in our zone these hydrangea are very popular initially when i started making my garden i had no idea um, about the hydrangea i had only seen uh, big leaf hydrangea which I did not like a lot but slowly when I did research and when I wanted to add more and more plants I I learned about these panicle hydrangea and their beauty and other than how they look beautiful they also stay for longer time and um, uh, they don't dry so easily uh, in the um, if you don't cut they may turn into brown color and they will be still uh, they are in the plant in winter too so in that way they have a lot of interest for a um, for a to enjoy in different different uh, season so they stay for a long long time in the plum in the plant so people love it and um, i love it <laughs> that's all i can say so i planted it yesterday while recording the um, video about <laughs> the lava lamp uh, candelabra hydrangea i got interrupted i got an emergency call and i had to attend that and uh, then after half an hour of that time the rain started you can see so i cannot record anymore i have to stop it stop it here so to make it the conclusion part i started recording to show you the status so i will record again tomorrow and i will share with all of you thank you for watching